that every time there is an econo economic revolution, the workforce is moving uh, towards it and is changing. Anyone who is not changing is left behind and sooner than later disappear. Hi there. In the previous chapter, I was talking about uh, the economic revolutions that mankind went through and from um, making a living simply like any other animal we moved to being uh, hunters gatherers which is very advanced and from that we moved to agriculture now every time uh, that we move to being hunters gatherers the population all of it moved into it all the working force when we move to our agriculture all the working force again moved to agriculture or almost all of it why because it was so much better and then came the uh, industrial revolution once again the workforce moved to the new um, economic revolution and today we are already deep inside of the uh, information and the service revolution so we see that every time there is an econo economic revolution, the workforce is moving uh, towards it and is changing. Anyone who is not changing is left behind and sooner than later disappear. So what that has to do with us, it has to do with understanding that agriculture as we know it cannot exist agriculture should change now to agri uh, industry and agri tech this is one second it means it means that the workforce if we have a country with 50% workforce of farmers, it has to go down because this is history. It's never different. Um, and we are still left with the question of how do we do it? Okay, this is something we will talk about later. But it's very important to understand percentage of population dealing with agriculture has to reduce and agriculture will change, has to change, to agri-industry or agri-tech, which is the same. It is becoming industry. Bye-bye.